Hi there, this is Diane and you read Start See Wisdom. I'm doing a reading for the second half of 2023 for Sagittarius. Um, I'm doing um, five cards for each month, August, September, October, November, December, and then one for the overarching theme. It's the end of July, so it's a little late than the half of the month, but thank you for all the people that have subscribed, all the people that have liked and shared. I really appreciate it in this new channel I'm working towards building. Um, yeah, so, and I, excuse my way, I went to the lake today, and so I haven't taken a shower yet. So, all right, I'm going to cut these, and this is for Sages, and I'm going to pull these out, and I'm going to turn the camera down, and then, and then this is Sages for August, September, and they're all backwards, uh, October, November, December, and the overarching theme is Ace of Swords. All right, Sages. So, so what I'm going to do, so August, September, October, let's do it this way, November, December. August, September, October, November, December. So, and then this is the Archer theme, which is Ace of Swords. So, August, Judgment. So, this is an ending. Uh, it could be related to, um, in August, you may um, be going to, I don't know if anybody's going to court or you're coming to an end or some sort of settlement. Maybe it's a divorce settlement or something legal that you have settled on, you know, like a disagreement with your neighbor or something like that. And you've had, you're, you're kind of, coming to a peaceful conclusion. I don't feel like this is negative in any way. It feels like it's an ending. And it, it's um, judgment is having to do with moving on as well and accepting whatever was your responsibility in part of it, but also taking charge and having good boundaries. So that's August. So I'm going to move forward and then I'm going to see what this is related to. And I'm looking at this. So, and then August, September... So you've got two cards. These are two big ending cards. So September, but world card is a really good card. You get the whole world. So that judgment or the court case or the situation or the argument or the finality or the ending turned out is going to turn out really well. Whatever this is, you're going to be happy with how this has turned out. Now, I know there's, these are all the, the fixed signs here, but I also see this from a distance that looks like a balloon to me. So whatever you get after August, September, it's going to be really big. It's it's going to be expansive. You're going to be expanding in September from, from this, uh, whatever this thing happens to you in August or whatever you're working through. But it seems to be coming to an end in September, August, September. It could be continuing from the year. I'm not saying that this is all of a sudden starting. I feel like this is the endings. So you've got the judgment and then the world. And it is very good and happy for the most part. I can't say guarantee for every single Sag, but if this doesn't resonate, you know, it's okay. But for the most part, the energy for you and Sages tend to be super positive and forthright and going for the truth. So the world is, is you getting the truth. The truth is coming out so people can realize what the, the what the reality is. It's an honesty. These are both like we're honest. There's no getting around it. You're being judged. You're not you, but people in general are being judged. Situations getting assessed. And um, it, it could be an ending of a relationship that makes you really happy. Um, but it's not a beginning. It's definitely an ending. And whatever it is, it's it's been coming on for a while. And now it's, it's coming to a conclusion. August, September. And in September, it's going to be really a really positive thing and you're going to be very happy with the conclusion that's the feeling I get October king of cups is an offer maybe you're going to be an emotion this is an emotional offer a relationship offer uh, something that like a job offer any kind of thing that somebody wants to give you now he doesn't look like he's he's standing very still so to me this means you have to reach out for it normally I feel like the offer is coming and he's holding out the cup but he's standing there. I don't know if you notice. He's not have his arm. He doesn't have his arm extended for whatever reason. I'm noticing that now, 
and um, he's got fish on his on his um, shield or his armor. So this might be a Pisces card. So he might be somebody that's in Pisces. And Sag and Pisces are square, so it might be where it doesn't feel hard, but Pisces and, and, and Sag are square to each other on the chart. It just might be exciting. It might be very exciting because they are the square and that causes tension and excitement. But it also could mean um, somebody that you don't expect because you're like, what? And this is a younger person, not an older person. So there's a youthful energy, a really nice youthful energy. It could be a child, your child, that is saying, you know, mom or dad, um, I'm going to do this thing. Hope you don't mind, um, but it's, I need to do this. And you're like, what? You can't, you're too young. Um, more than likely, it's an offer though. So, and so August, September, October, and then... Did this backwards November December so this is November and it, nine of Pentacles and nine of Pentacles is somebody who knows their value is at home and they have a wonderful space and they're completely comfortable without anybody being around they have their it's abundant prosperous um, extra everything is it, it's in its place they build a lifetime from working hard so it might you might find that in November you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to enjoy your space at home. You're going to plan on spending the holidays with your family, which I know is is a common thing. But it's almost like you're building up the area around your home as well. I'm getting the feeling that you're doing some yard work, even though yeah, obviously she's outside. But normally I don't see that in this card. But for this time I do. I feel like Sagges are going to be out there in November doing yard work if they can. Still, it's cool. They're going to be. Um, growing well you know in Arizona you can grow all year long so you can start um, planning on next year's garden too so but it's building security within yourself as well so whatever is happening in November December you've got this ace of pentacles which is a beginning of new growth new value new money new security somebody is offering you or you're going to be offering somebody else Perhaps it's something about being on in this home, November, December. Maybe you're going to get it ready for somebody else to, to stay with you. That kind of feels like it could be. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe you're offering your children some money or something of value to help them out. That could be it as well. Um, or somebody's offering you, somebody could be giving you money. Maybe you're going to get an inheritance, November, December. Um yeah or this is a job it's as simple as that this is also a job maybe you're going to make some extra money maybe you're going to um decide you know what i'm just going to make some money on the side or get it just change your job altogether but if it is it might be an at-home job or a remote job that's what these two mean for me so the overarching theme for sages is ace of swords beginnings beginnings of visions beginnings of um, all kinds of new ideas beginnings of new way of thinking habits patterns but it's it's usually a spark it's a an imaginator imagination you come up with this great idea that um brings up all these other ideas so the overarching theme is is really really good so you might get this settlement you might find that you redo something in your house you might get an offer two different ways emotional offer and financial offer which could be related to the judgment or the end or the world where there might be some income that's coming in from something. Um, emotionally, it could be emotionally, but there's emotional and um, real physical value, money, something that changes hands, something that changes hands in regards to money. Uh, I don't think it's you, unless it's a gift. I don't think you're paying something like to get rid of it it's almost like you're doing it for your children or family members that's the feeling I get and then there's a great idea maybe you're gonna go in with somebody with the new income that you have or the new ideas but this is a super great spark of light of vision creative potential this is a lot of potential these are both a ton of potential both so you've got beginnings you've got endings 
and then right away beginnings for um, the second part of the year. It's very exciting. I mean, endings kind of are sucky sometimes, but usually they're they're needed. They're ready to, to happen. So, um, yeah, Sag, looks really good. Have a good rest of the year. Thank you.